I'm Ed. We're here at the Olympic Training Center track in Chula Vista, California. See a lot of runners behind us doing uh, various workouts and drills. Watching you earlier, I saw you moving, you know, side to side, not just forward. How important is it to to move in that plane of motion? Well, here at the Olympic Training Center, it's always great to be here. This is a uh, home signature of San Diego, and uh, great weather and. A lot of people are use this this center. As far as lateral movements, they're good because you know we spend so much hours and miles going one way forward. So by doing those lateral movements or walking backward, those will help you those muscle memory right. and uh, agility to to help you more powerful. If you can do that, then you'll be able to cover injury free and then you'll be able to cover more miles. And one of the most popular drills I see sprinters and distance runners doing is this karaoke move. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, the karaoke movement that I do in my drills is it's fun. It's just being a kid, you know, you'll be able to, you know, kind of almost dance a little bit and then do side, side movements and, you know, that's. Put exciting. a little rhythm to it. Yeah, yeah, it's got a little rhythm to it. You can do also do it with a high knee or you can just do it just regular karaoke and, uh, you know, you know, all of them, most, most all, all sports use it, but we runners sometimes forget those because we're concerned about the time and the training is limited and we don't, we don't implement that in our training. Now, how many times a week will you do these lateral drills? You know, all those drills that I'm talking about with you today, I do them six, six days a week. Mm -hmm. I don't do them morning and afternoon. I usually do them every time I finish a run or I, after my warm ups before my intervals. I do those. All right, those are some great tips on lateral movement. Thanks, Meb. Check out competitor.com for some more tips from Meb Kaflesby.